Having the continue and cancel button float up here in the header while in browse mode and in find mode doesn't seem very friendly. In fact, when we go to find mode, it doesn't seem very friendly to have the browse mode buttons here. So let's see if we can't figure out a way to hide them from the different modes. It's actually pretty easy. First, I'm going to look at a web browser here, and I looked up and searched by get window mode. And there's a function in FileMaker called get window mode, and it returns a 0 for browse mode, a 1 for find mode, a 2 for preview, 3 if printing is in progress, and 4 if evaluating a function from the data viewer. Really, the ones you're most interested in are browse and find. So let's see what we can do when we combine that with the hide objects feature. I'm going to select all these buttons right here. Go into the inspector. Go over to the data section. Choose hide objects and type in get window mode equals 1. That's either true or false. Remember, you got to have a Boolean result here. Always look at the bottom here to see what you have to put in or what kind of result you have to get out. And then very importantly, we're going to make sure we apply this in find mode so it works in find and browse. Otherwise, it only goes in browse mode. So you'll see that we still see these buttons while we're in browse mode, but as soon as we go to find mode, they disappear. This is really great for hiding the stuff that your users don't need to see. So we can do the same thing with our buttons here. Let's go into layout mode. Come down here and type in get window mode equals zero this time. In fact, I'm going to copy this whole thing, apply in find mode, and let's see what happens now. Now in browse mode, they're gone, but in find mode, they appear. So that means we can take these buttons and put them over here, possibly, so they're not floating in the header. Get them right on top of that. I think we got that nailed. Looks pretty good. Let me make sure. I think they're one pixel off. Yep, they well, they were now they're one pixel off. Now we're good. And I'm gonna send these to back because I prefer to see the other windows or the other buttons right up front. So now when we're in browse mode, we see the browse mode buttons, and in find mode, they disappear and reveal those find mode buttons. Pretty nifty stuff. I like it a lot. Now we're using a layout for browse and find mode and making it make sense for the user. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to hide a bunch of buttons. We don't want to show these buttons right here in find mode or these buttons over here. You notice know, so if we go to find mode, you also see this stuff down here. So we should hide that. The totals we should hide. And we should hide any types of things we don't want to be searched, such as, let's say, our build filtered filter relationship or similar contacts. Well, you might want to search similar contacts, but certainly invoices will allow us to search just as well all the, the we, as we can with these uh, filtered and, uh, and filter portal and filter relationships. There's no sense in having the ability to search all of them because they're really going to get the same results. So we won't allow that. Um, and that's really what your homework is to get rid of that stuff. And what I'm also going to do here is something pretty nifty, which is I'm going to duplicate these buttons right here. Move them up here just temporarily. We're going to make new request. And that'll be just single step. New record request. We'll go to the next one. That will be duplicate request. Single step. Duplicate record request. Notice how it says record slash request. That depends on the mode. And then we also have here delete request. Single step. Delete request. Pretty easy stuff. Now we can go ahead and select these three, change it to zero move them in here to this spot. I think we got it there, nailed it. Looks pretty good. So we'll try it out and make sure it works. 
go to find mode. Now we have buttons specific for creating requests so they don't have to go up to the menus. It, it kind of puts it right in front of them. They go, oh, a new request. And of course you have to do a little bit of training, but you don't have to teach them about the entire menu here, just the items that are probably most important for them. Now you also notice that we really don't want this here. This is showing the number of records. It's not really accurately showing what we want. We don't want a total number of records. There's not a total number of, or, you know, there's not a found set in find mode, so we don't want that. So we should probably modify that a little bit. So I'll come over here and we'll duplicate this. Move it over here temporarily. I'll take off the end part here. And we'll insert other symbol. Go down to request. There you go, request count. We'll make that small like it was before so it doesn't take up too much space. A lot easier to work with. And it should be the same width, but let's make sure. I'll open the inspector. We can see this one's 556. I'm sorry, not that one, 262. And this one's still 262, so that's great. So let's move this one right back to where it was. And then, of course, we're going to go back in the inspector and put in get window mode equals zero, apply in find mode. And then, of course, we'll send that to back. Then click on the one that's in the front and make sure it's set to equals one, apply in find mode. So what we should get here in browse mode is what we had before, but when we're in find mode, you can see we get something that represents that you're in find mode now. So again, you need to get rid of a few more things. I talked about getting rid of this area right here, these buttons, this total, this stuff down here, these two buttons here as well. You don't need them. And probably some other buttons along here, some of these portals and things like that. So we have a nice, clean find mode.